But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, as you see, I disabled the chat and even the comment because I don't want to see stupid people making comments here. We don't need you. Uh, if you don't like what we say, just leave. Any other way, get lost. Uh, we know that, you know, the, the, the Russian invasion, and I, I don't want to call it actually Russian invasion. I want to call it Putin invasion. Because we saw how the much the Russian they are against this filthy Putin. We saw the Russian they are getting arrested. And this is how he treats his people. He arrests the one who object him. Anyone he object him, he arrests him. If his own people cannot have a mouth to speak, what about people who they are not his people? This is how filthy this man is. You will see every stupid idiot giving you his, his comment saying, oh, uh, you know, because you want to join the NATO. Oh, okay. Uh, so let us, uh, let us practice uh, this, uh, you know, lo logic. So uh, Putin is a friend to Iran, and he is the one who built the nuclear facility for Iran. So that means Israel should bomb Moscow. Isn't it Iran is number one enemy to Israel? And he is the one who built for them. All, all this negotiation is just because of what Russia did, specifically Putin. Isn't it him who built their nuke facility for them? Those are people who do not know how to build a house, how they can build such a thing. All of us, we knew that they have contract for many years. And they build every facility for them. So now, based on the logic, if you take a friend, he is my enemy, I'm going to bomb you. I'm going to invade your country. Oh, no, because I am Putin, I can do as I wish, but you cannot do the same to me. Uh, this guy, he don't like me. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to replace the government. This is how filthy, disgusting this person is. And whoever support him, he is a stupid and he is, he have no dignity. The reality is that this country is weak. If you search right now, what is the size of Alaska? You will find that Alaska is three times bigger than Ukraine. Putin, he will not dare to say, I want Alaska back. We are one mile away from the borders of Russia. In some places, we are one meter away. Oh no, because those are weak, you know, their army is weak and we will not let them 
get their nukes and before they get strong, we have to invade them now. Otherwise, it's going to be too late. And what I like about what happened, that Putin, he got a big finger from the Ukrainian people. This Egypt, he thought that, okay, well, all the Western, they gave me a green light and how they did that, because they ran away. The American, they shut down their embassy, the bridge, everybody. Well, we, you know, they, actually this, the stupid Western leaders, they are the one who encourage him to do that. And I believe the stupid leaders like this idiot Putin, uh, Biden, which is the same anyway. He thought that those Ukrainian, we leave them, the second day the president will run. And me, myself, actually, I thought that this guy is not really, doesn't sound like a tough, he used to be an actor. So obviously those Western countries, they were expecting Ukraine to collapse in two hours. And their army will surrender and Putin will have Kiev in maybe 15 minutes. What happened is totally the opposite. Putin now is in a big trouble. Because if he would draw, that is the biggest defeat ever in his career. He will lose the coming election, no question for that. If there's an election anyway. And if you want to continue, he knew what he is waiting, it's waiting for him inside. Already he lost at least a thousand soldiers. He knew now he made a big mistake. His calculation is not working right. What he thought is going to be a barbecue journey, it's a wicked journey. We change the government, the same as we did in Kazakhstan. People, they go in the street, we send a few thousands and everybody run away. And then we put our president back in his chair and we arrest the one who dare to question or ask questions. And that's it, the same in Belarusia. This is the game. We will, we will put a puppet in every country we control or we would like to control. I can say that American, you know, they, they want to use Ukrainian. Uh, but U Ukrainian is getting the benefit of uh, that use at least. What is the benefit Putin will give to Ukrainian? Those people, they were under the occupation of Russia for at least a hundred years. Hunger, poor. You enter a house, you don't even have a fan. Finally, they start breathing. And they have businesses and things getting better. This guy will not let them live. In the top of that, he brought the dogs of Khadarov. And all of us, we know that this Khadarov is nothing but a drug dealer. And he himself, he killed his own people too, if anybody opened his mouth. So what I'm asking you today, we cannot go and join them to defend them. I wish I am there. I will be happy to bear arm and to defend the Ukrainian. But there is a simple thing you can do. Let us report the filthy station of Putin, RT. The lying mouth of Putin. How in the world YouTube is allowing even such a station of someone he is worse than Hitler? Hitler, he said, let me take uh, the European when Hitler was in his place. 
uh, let me uh, i will take a part of poland so the everybody will go mute like okay we don't want to go in war so he took part of poland but the guy would not stop he have control of belarus he have control of kazakhstan he have a control of uh, all, all those countries <laughs> and the funny shishenia is a country which the russian demolished 1994 and killed tens of thousands, and then the dog now Qadarov, who claimed to be a Muslim, who the Quran says take not Christians and Jews as friends, he say I'm willing to die for Putin. This guy, he's Putin, his God. This is what happened when you have a loyal dog. So he is bringing us his dogs in order to conquer, and he think it's going to work, and I believe strongly. There's two reasons things is not working good for him. He never thought that Ukrainian, they will reject such a behavior from him as much what happened. Because in the street, there's many people, they are not against, you know, Russia. And actually, many of them, they favor Russia. This is reality. But when the attack happened, even those who favor Russia, they are not favoring Russia no more. Actually, even the previous president, let me see if I can find you the video. The previous president, who was the, the most supported person by Putin, today he carried arms and he brought his men to fight in Kiev. I will try to find his video. Which means even the one who he was hoping to take his side and side his propaganda, even this person, he have a dignity, he refused to join the invader. Supporting the invader. Supporting his propaganda. I'm just trying to find this video. When this guy, he come over to Ukraine a few weeks ago, or maybe two months ago, I said to myself, oh, Putin, he sent him there. He's preparing himself to do something, and then he will take the current president, and he will put his puppet. But it turned to be that this guy will not accept to be a puppy. And he is against the filthy Putin. And actually he said to him, you go to hell. Let me change the search because it's taking long. Well, this is here, the president, the previous president of Ukraine, who he ran away to, to Russia because he's a bro Russia, you know, he support Russia. And this is telling you how big is the failure of Putin. Even his friends, even the ones who he think they will be the first one to welcome him. They are the first to stand up and fight. Because this is not about politics no more. Women are dying, children are dying, houses are destroyed. A soldier from Shishenia, he go over a car and he tried to kill everybody inside the car. With his tank. Taking buildings down to the ground. All of this for what purpose? Because you choose a friends, we don't like them? Well, all your friends, we don't like them. Name for me one friend to Mr. Putin is not a terrorist. Who's your friends?
are they the human country, you know, like governments who support the human right? Or they are obsessed with killing like you? Look like this video is not him talking, so I will try to find the video of the person talking it. So we can hear what he said. Yeah, maybe this one. Thank you very much indeed for keeping Ukraine in a top and uh, delivered the truth about the uh, Russian aggression in Ukraine and about how brave and heroic is Ukrainian to protect our soil, to protect our future, to protect our freedom and our democracy. We are in the center of Kyiv. We are here uh, to protect Ukraine. And the Russian position is about a little bit more than two kilometers from here. Uh, two kilometers away from the center of their city and those brave men, they are not afraid. They are willing to die. They will not come here. Either us or you. Those are the ones who they support Russia. This is the guy who always defend Russia. So Putin, he screwed himself. He has zero now people who like Russia to come over to Ukraine. And what make it more horrible now for him that after European they notice, well, they don't sound like the Afghani coward army, the army of Allah, who they run away right away when Taliban came over. First day, they could not do anything. Second day, they could not. Until now, they could not even take one major city. Remember, this is Russia. You will see some idiot, they say to you, do you want to start World War III? Are you asking me? Or you are suggesting? So because this guy, he have nukes, he can go to any country. He can occupy them, he can kill the people, he can change the government, he can make himself a king, and that's it, because we need to avoid the Third World War. We cannot risk it. This guy himself, he knew that he cannot use nukes because he is not the only one who have nukes, in case you do not know. Nukes they use when there is no other solution, that's it. It's like Samson. I'm dead, let them die. So don't come to me with the stupid ideas of nukes. Actually, this guy he is the last one who can use nuke against Ukraine because his people will be killed. They are so close, they are in the borders. Now the European, they notice, European countries, they notice that those people, they are brave, and they are willing to fight, and they are willing to die to their country, for the sake of their country. They are sending more and more weapons, and this war becomes so costly. So if the Ukrainian, they hold their position a few days more, Putin is already in hell. Because more and more high-quality missiles are coming for tanks, aircraft. And today I saw how many airplanes they shut down. The Russian army is in Syria for almost nine years. They lost two airplanes. And one of them by mistake from the Turkish. But now because those people are giving weapon and more weapon is coming. Germany who is always side with evil. This is what Germany does. Always they side with evil. Finally, they agree to give the Ukrainian hundreds of aircraft missiles and air, you know, and anti-tanks. Even a small tiny like Poland. 
decide to send them anti tanks and anti crafts. So they will hunt. It's going to be a very easy hunt. Any tank, they are between buildings. It's a street war. A massive army doesn't make any difference now. The only way for Putin now to take Kyiv is to wipe the city. And there's a very high price for doing that. Neither him, neither the Russian can handle. And more and more and more rejection and more anger around the world. You don't tell me who is going to be in my house. You don't tell me who is going to be my friend. Before you look at my friends, look at your friends. Saddam Hussein was their friend. Assad is their friend. Iran is their friend. Hezbollah is their friend. The dictator of Venezuela is their friend. Can you name for me one a friend is good? So how come you can have all those ugly friends and the Ukrainian cannot have a friend of their choice? Who are you? Are you their stepfather? I was so happy to see this guy today. Showing support to his own people, not his own agenda. A person who always supported the Russian. Finally, he is saying to Putin, you go to hell. You literally go to hell. Weapons and today uh, uh, in the Kiev, the Putin will meet hell and the Russian people and the Russian soldiers. This coward Putin, he might win the war. He might. But he lost already. We are spitting at him. His own people are spitting at him. So this video today is just to ask you if you don't mind. You can't do much. I'm far away, I'm not in Ukraine. But we can report RT and we can make thousands and thousands and maybe millions if people decide to move and force YouTube to practice what they claim it is again their policy to spread fake news. To practice what they claim we are against violence. This station is teaching violence. RT is the filthy mouth of Putin. They kill them and they cry and they claim they are the victim. I have the link in the info of this video. If you like to help, it just take you a click and make a complaint to YouTube. You can say whatever you want. The reason you believe in, the true reason you believe in that this station should not be exist. A propaganda TV station lying about justifying about killing children and women and destroying buildings and invading a country. And what is the excuse? The first excuse was, oh, there is a Russian in the border, so why you are coming to Kiev? And already they took, they took those two cities. Why you are coming here? Why you are bombing bridges? Why you are bombing schools? Why you are taking over airports? Why? Can you believe it that he signed? <laughs> There's two countries and the two countries don't have a flag. The two countries, the new two countries, they have a Russian flag. I mean, don't we know that this is a theft? 
He's taking land from Ukraine and he wants to take more. The new independent state, according to Putin, they have no flag, they have no government, and their flag is the Russian flag. And all of them, they carry Russian passport. Have you ever heard of a scam bigger than this? Of a fraud bigger than this? So if you care to do something, I have the link underneath. Share it in Facebook. I know that many of you don't care. I know many of you even, they are just here for entertainment. That's why I disabled the chat, disabled the comment. I don't want to see anything. If you like to do, do. If you don't like, this is your business. Even giving like, they don't give. This is how cheap people are. People are dying, children. In the name of what? Who is your God? To bring the dogs of this Muhammad Kadarov to rape the women in Ukraine. How this filthy Putin, he claimed to be a Christian man. Who is your God? Your God, obviously, is the devil. So if you don't mind, and it doesn't cost you too much of your pocket to do a few clicks, I have the link underneath for RT, and make a complaint and explain to YouTube, you have to type something, how you allow such a terrorist regime, fascist, dictator, invader, to have a voice in your platform. How you allow a person who killed children, who knocked buildings, to have a voice in your platform? Isn't it this is against your policy, YouTube? Or you are afraid that you will nuke you too? In the same time, I have really a lot of respect to this young president who I always look down at him. I did not consider him to be something serious. He don't look tough. He don't look like, you know, someone can hold position. He can be strong. I always thought that he would be the first one to run away. He did not, even though the American, they offer him. We can send you a specific way for airplanes to take you from the heart of Kiev. You and your family, your assistants. He said, no, we will die here. And this is what is screw maybe the biggest plan of Putin. He was expecting that this guy, he will run. He is just a kid. He was saying to himself, I am the KGB officer who killed thousands before. This guy would be terrified to meet me. I will take off his nails if I capture him. I'll practice all the KGB skills on him. He did not run. And you know, just to make it simple, even if, if Putin, he took over Kiev. The country still is so big and more weapon is coming. So if every city they want to take is going to take them forever and cause them a lot of soldiers. And not only that, now they are receiving those high-tech missiles. They can hunt all the caravan, which is bringing supply to the Russian army. And for me, it's sad to see Russian young men dying. I would like to see all the dogs of Karadov captured.
this drug dealer. But this is what Putin he did. He is filthy as filth can be. So if you really care, if you have a little sense of a humanity, you like to support people who they have no voice. They are in the shelter, they are in their building, women who they are and children. Who they have no guilt, except they want to live free. If you care, it take you one click, go to the link we show in the info there for RT, report the channel, let everybody make a hashtag, send it in Twitter, let us make it like a snowball will grow, and maybe we can take it down. At least we do something. I spoke today to the people who they are in Ukraine, and I told them to make an account, like in Patreon or anyone of their choice, so we can make donation. But obviously they are busy with with the horrible things, you know, providing shelters to people, and they are busy. Even though I'm sure they need money, but there's obviously something more important to do. So show your support to the weak, to the oppressed. This is not about politics. You might agree with Putin that he is right, you might, but you cannot agree that he have the right to kill women and children. You cannot agree that he have the right to invade his neighbors. You can't agree, I can show you tons of videos, how he's shooting buildings, taking them down. All of this for what? Because you don't like their friends? Because you don't like the president? Well, we don't like you, and we don't like your friends. Shall we take you too by force? Oh no, I'm strong. I am a snake, I have teeth, I will bite you. You can't get close to me. So he's evil is going after a weak country, a country trying to build itself. This filthy Putin, he don't deserve respect from anyone, including his own citizen. And I'm sure, and I saw how many people, if I search right now, about how many people getting arrested, You will not believe it. But there's nothing new. Anyone protest against him, this guy, either he hunt him or he put poison for him, like what happened to the other one, or he accused him falsely to be a thief so he can get rid of him, he put him in jail. Those are Russian coming by thousands in the street. Worldwide scrutiny against... Those are Russian, those are not Ukrainian. They don't want this. They knew it is wrong. But who there? Nobody. Who can question, who can ask, who can say this is wrong? Who can oppose the terrorist? They will arrest you. So to make it clear, we are not against the Russian. I always actually, I respect the Russian. I believe they are wonderful people. They have, especially for me as a Middle Eastern Christian, the Russian always was people who support us. But this Putin is filth, is a plague. Somebody have to stop him before he burned the whole earth. And I'm so proud of those Ukrainian, who they have no training, they have nothing. Women, everybody is doing something to help their own 
fighters. When you see a long line like this of women and men, young men, they have no training. They never have a gun in their hand all their life. What you can see, all those people are coming to join to see how they can support. They ask each one of them, well, how much, how much do, what do you know about fighting? They say, we don't know. One of them, he says, I do install windows. They are, they are peaceful people. You see, in the Middle East, we grow with guns. Those people, they do not know what guns is. The behavior of Putin is very disgusting. And nobody can give him any excuse. And we will not let RT, his, mouth, his, his lying mouth, speak lies. So for the last time, I say, please, if you care, we have the link down in the info, go report their channel, make a hashtag, send it in Twitter, send it in Facebook, send it everywhere. Let us join together, let us do something. Let us help those poor people to stop the aggression against them. We don't want the Russian to die, but in the same time, we don't want Ukrainian to die. There are people like us, they have the right to have their own government. Whoever they elect as a president, this is their business. If everybody don't like a president of a country who wanna change him, this earth is, is become garbage. Ask me myself, do I like Biden? No, I don't. But I will not accept Putin to come here to kill Biden. If he try, we will stand against him. It's not up to you to choose a government or a president. Every country they elect as they wish, and this person is elected. And if you have a massive army, at least be a man and fight a massive army like yours. What this filthy man is doing right now, like going after a child in the street, like a growing big man going after a child, this is how it is. I want to say thank you for being here. I apologize. I had to disable the chat and even the comment because I'm not really interested in comment. I am interested in your action if you care. As you see, I'm going live, not in the time usually I go on. But I said to myself, even uh, we will not have too many of you, but by tomorrow we will have enough to make people maybe do some action. And let us see if you really will care. And you never know, YouTube might go against my videos now. <laughs> you never know. They might always take the side of the one who is bad, not the one who is doing the right thing. You never know. So report RT. They should not have a mouth, a lying mouth, propaganda of a dictator, of an invader, of somebody killing women and children. He shall not and he should not have any platform. YouTube is an American company. Do they agree to have such a station in their channel? Is it right to have ISIS channel? What is the difference? What is the difference between ISIS doing or did and Putin doing now?
do Putin need to make a video of somebody he is chopping his head? Well, he's chopping heads without videos. When his Shishanian boys, they go with their, tr uh, their tank over a car, they smash it. Whoever alive inside must be dead. Even ISIS did not do that. So please do something, if you care to do. Thank you very much for being here, and I hope to see you soon again. Feel free to download my videos and share it around. As you know, I do not keep my videos. And let us see how many people really care. And I'm not expecting much. But for me, I do my duty, and I don't feel guilty. Thank you. God bless you. May the Lord protect those poor people. We pray for them. We pray for their safety. We pray, we pray that he will provide them with more support, all kind of support. We pray that many nations, they will stand with them, not by talking, but by action, by sending weapon and the mission, food, money, whatever they need. Talk is cheap. Time to do some action. Thank you, and God bless you. Take care.